That's your dog? Do they think you're a dog or a person? Find out the answer to this perplexing question in this video. Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Click there to subscribe, hit the bell to sign up for notifications, and then when you click the link directly in the box below, I can send you a copy of my free book. Imagine if you acted like your dog. Would your dog think you were a dog? Like getting up on the couch. Okay, oh, Kula. Uh, uh, okay. Uh. Uh, like, am I a person or a dog? What do you think? I think she thinks maybe I'm a dog. What? What? <laughs> Tula likes to take her bone, drop it at my feet, encourage me to play. What if I did the same thing? She'd be confused. What if I bit it? <laughs> Oh my God. It's kind of how she acts when she's playing with other dogs. Do you think I'm a dog? Ah. What if I ate out of a bowl? Like, would that mess her up? Would she think like, oh, maybe he's a dog. Okay, Tula, it's time for lunch. Mmm. Wow. Really hard to eat out of a bowl. Don't recommend it. Or maybe because they're using a spoon. Mm. Okay, here's your lunch, good girl. She's getting confused. No, really, you can have it here. Oh, wow. Mmm. Just a little bit of carbohydrates, just to spice up your day. Mmm. So, oh, we can all do, do with a little bit of a blood sugar spike during a pandemic. Mmm. A little bit of happiness any way we can. Well, according to scientists, Tula does not think I'm a dog. They have this amazing sense of smell. You know, just imagine smelling something that's 100,000 times stronger. So she can smell me. She knows like, I don't smell like a dog, right? And of course our scientists are right because they're never wrong. But does that mean Tula that I am, you are not influenced by me? that you don't act different when I'm around? You want to see me? Oh, of course not. And in fact, your dog is incredibly bonded to you, has all these different changes going on, chemical changes going on in the brain. When they're with you, they're gonna act that much differently because they've got all these warm like feelings that are released from this hormone oxytocin. That's all occurring and happening. But I don't smell like a dog. So your dog knows, like, you're not a dog. Now, Tula's not the most confident dog. When she sees other dogs, more often than not, she's acting a little bit shy and timid. And as you can see with me, are you shy, timid? I mean, is this the sign of a nervous dog? <laughs> well, no, we smell differently. We look differently, and clearly we behave differently. Right. You know I'm not a dog. So there you have it. Your dog clearly thinks you're a person, not a dog. I think. Thanks so much for watching this edition of Veterinary Secrets. Click up there to subscribe, hit the bell to sign up for notifications, and then when you click the link directly in the box below, I can send you a copy of my free book.